I'm Jennifer Sinassi, you're watching News 24 Live. I'm joined in studio by David Perry Davies. He's going to introduce us to the 2015 Ecologic Awards, awards that aim to find ecological champions across South Africa. Hello. Thank you very much for having me on your show. Thank you for coming in. And you're wearing a beautiful dark green blazer here. I think that fits the theme of what we're going to speak about today. Thank you. And taking it beyond green to blue. Yes. Well, as you bring it up right now, let's get right into it and chat about the award. This is the actual Ecologic Award that the winners will receive at the ceremony. But it's blue, and I would actually expect it to be green. Well, when you're down on the ground, the earth looks flat and it looks green. But if you elevate your viewpoint, you'll suddenly see that the Earth is actually geoid. It's oval mm -hmm. and it's blue. And that's a, exactly what the uh, Enviropedia Awards are about, the Ecologic Awards are about. It's about elevating our viewpoint because this, the awards are judged on a value system. It's about the, the way we think. Mm -hmm. Because if you, if you think about it, if we go back to 1992, the world's leaders got together and they identified the world's problems back in Rio. It was called the Rio Earth Summit. They identified what the problems were and they identified the solutions. Now, what's changed since then? I can certainly say that not enough has changed. Yeah. Why is that? It's because we have been addressing the symptoms, things like pollution, littering, rhino poaching. These are symptoms of a mindset. Mm -hmm. So we've been addressing the symptoms and not the cause itself. The cause is the value system that we've had and the thinking. Um, so that's what Ecologic is about. It's about identifi identifying the thinking and the, the value systems that drive our behavior and saying, what do we need to change? And that's what the awards are about. So we've got seven principles of Ecologic and it includes short-term thinking is harmful. We need to uh, embrace long-term thinking. Specialist uh, silo thinking has been harmful. We need to look at things more holistically. And there are seven of these characteristics, and we apply those um, seven principles of Ecologic to different areas. So we've got a, a water award, a transport award, energy saving award, a number of, of, of um, awards that can be won by corporates, and then we've got the individuals, eco-angel, eco-warrior, eco-youth. So individuals and corporates yes. can enter. Absolutely. So no one is excluded from the Not at all. Ecologic Awards. <laughs> all right, so you've briefly talked us through some of the awards that are available, but um, why don't you tell me about the entering process? We know that anyone can enter. Yes, What's the criteria? and there's no cost. All right. Now, um, basically, it's just simply go to the Enviropedia mm -hmm. website, and if you have a look at here, you'll see the Enviropedia, and maybe show people that spelling because it's it's the British way of spelling encyclopedia. There's an yes, A involved, Enviro P A E D I A, <laughs> and go to that website, Enviropedia.com, okay. and the awards are on that, and you can literally uh, enter online. All right. Now, the Enviropedia is actually the um, establishment responsible for the Ecologic Awards. Correct. Can you int introduce us to Enviropedia? Maybe someone's watching this video sure. and they don't actually know what it is and what they can get from it. Well, the Enviropedia is, is a combination of two things. Firstly, it's an encyclopedia of, of environmental subjects from A to Z, from acid mine drainage, activism, through to Z, mm -hmm. zero waste, etc. Each subject is, is written by the specialists in their field. So it's not a, a one person's point of view or a goodies or a baddies point of view. It is literally just the specialists in the field write the subject. And that's across the board. It's not just green issues. It's what we call sustainability issues. So uh, politics, economics, gender issues, these come into it just as much as uh, issues of uh, biodiversity, etc. So you've got your A to Z of environmental subjects. Underneath each subject, are the organizations involved with it. So you can go from the subject to find the organizations who can help you with that subject. So an interactive encyclopedia and directory. And at the end of that, there is um, a lifestyle guide. So it can teach you what you can do yourself about saving water, energy, transport, etc. And we also have a section in there on thought leadership. If this is the way the world is, how could the world be better? So we ask people like Bishop Tutu to write on Ubuntu and eco-Ubuntu. Uh, we invite somebody like Princess Irene of the Netherlands to write on tourism, eco-tourism. And they give us perspectives of the way the world could be better. And that's our thought leadership section. So that's what the Enviropedia is. It's about looking at the way things are, looking at the way things can be, and how do you get there.